Bendigo Tramways Workshop is part of the oldest operating tramways depot in the Southern Hemisphere. If you have a look at our finished vehicles, you get an appreciation of the type of work we do and the quality of the work that we produce in our workshop. Over time, we've carried out a large range of significant restoration projects for quite a number of different organisations. The federal and state government, together with the City of Greater Bendigo, have funded a multi-million dollar extension upgrade of our depot that has just been completed. This work has not only ensured the heritage value of the facility has been maintained, keeping it as an attractive tourism site, but the expansion of our workshop has increased the capacity to take on major external heritage rail restoration projects. The Bendigo Workshop already has a reputation for being a centre of excellence when it comes to heritage tram restoration, and this can largely be attributed to 40 years of experience of restoring trams for our own vintage tram tourist service. With our diverse range of trams, many of which are over 100 years old, we are often the first port of call for any other tramway museums or collectors that need their rail vehicles restored or rebuilt. This is because we not only understand the specifics of the vehicles, but also the operational needs to ensure reliable services can be provided. We are fortunate that over time we've built an excellent and unique skill base that is focused on heritage vehicle restoration that covers all types and classes of early to mid 20th century rail vehicles. We've carried out significant restoration projects for a range of organisations. For example, we worked on the Paran and Malvern Tram a Trust to restore tram number 84, which took pride of place at the Centenary de Malvern Depot in May 2010. In this case, the Bendigo Tramways team transformed a broken down shell into a magnificent example of what a vintage tram looked like in its heyday. This tram is now a key vehicle in our talking tram fleet. There are three major areas of expertise involved in the restoration of heritage trams. They are coach building, engineering and painting. Depending on the state of the tram prior to restoration, the time needed can vary dramatically. The primary task of the coach building team is to refurbish or rebuild all the timber parts of the tram which generally include the roof, windows and doors, floor, internal panelling, seating and sometimes even the mainframe of the vehicle. The really old trams had wooden mainframes which required specialised coach building skills to restore. When the tram first arrives at the depot for restoration, the first task is to strip or disassemble the tram. A numbering system is used to ensure that we know where each part belongs in the tram and to which tram it belongs to. All the seats, windows, doors, grab rails and other fittings are put on the racks and the benches of the coach building area, while the trucks, controllers and electrical boxes are sent to the engineering shop. The coach building team then systematically work their way through all the wooden pieces of the tram, repairing, refurbishing or replacing parts. All parts are carefully sanded and repaired by hand. Coach building requires very careful attention to detail as being out even by a couple of millimetres will mean starting all over again. Once all the wooden parts of the tram have been repaired, they have to be refitted into the tram. Sometimes the roof or the floor of the tram also have to be rebuilt, which adds more complexity to the job. The main job of the engineering team is to refurbish the mechanical and electrical components to the trams. These would include things like the tram trucks, motors, controllers and electrical and pneumatic components. When the tram trucks and controllers arrive in the engineering shop for refurbishment, they are also disassembled. Each part is checked for repair and replacement. Unlike a modern vehicle, we can't just go and buy new parts. So our team aim to repair the components. Should any of the components be beyond repair, the team have to remake these parts from the original patterns and drawings. Most of the equipment that we work with is somewhere around the century old mark. This makes uh, repairing and replacing these things very, very difficult. So we have a very uh, strong focus on ensuring that the parts that we send out the other end uh, to go onto the trams are of the highest quality. Uh, so to do that, we have to dismantle everything absolutely completely. Uh, we have to remanufacture, remake, and sometimes even reinvent the parts that are required to go on these trams. Here in Bendigo, we've used our engineering skills to assist almost every museum and transit operator in Australia to keep their trams going. We've even sent components as far afield as San Francisco, Memphis, 
uh, Edmonton in Canada, even as far as the Royal Tram in Denmark, we've assisted with the uh, components. All of the components that come into our engineering shop receive 100% of our attention and care to ensure that the finest products leave here to the satisfaction of our customers. Although we enjoyed the challenge of a total rebuild or overhaul of any vintage tram, we're here to meet the needs of all the customers. Whether they be providing parts, advice or partial rebuilds, we are happy to discuss any requirements. We have both the expertise and the significant collection of parts, patterns and drawings of a large number of vintage rail carriages. If you've got a tram or train restoration project in mind, give us a call.